Hello, hello, this is Jeff Adobedia here, and today I'm going to cover the um, insert effects inside of Studio One. So if you do not know, Studio One names its effect slots as inserts, similar to those who have used Pro Tools. So if we go to our mix console, and I already have an audio track set up, the inserts are where we add our effects. As you see, drag FX chain from here. We'll get to that in a second but the inserts is where we go to add an effect. If you look to the left, I already have some inserts over here. The difference between my inserts over here on Studio One and my inserts on the right is that the inserts on the left are specifically for the inputs of Studio One. This means that when I am recording through my microphone going into Studio One, before it hits the sequencer, it is going through all of these effects. So in essence, I am recording destructively through these effects before it hits Studio One. If I turn off these effects, that means the audio file that appears on Studio One will be as raw as possible. If you look, my levels have changed. Now when I turn these on, then you can see there's a little bit of compression that's going on. My levels are slightly louder. This will print onto the sequencer of Studio One if I have these inserts activated. Inserts are your effects. So I'm gonna show you these three effects here. And this is gonna cover what I want to show in this video. This is a third party plugin by Klanghelm in which I use for recording vocals. I really like it because it gives me a way to look at the levels I'm reaching inside of my chain that I'm using. But I have a filter section and I have a dynamics de session section that I'm using in order to help the vocal recording before I even throw effects on it and make it sound good at the beginning stages of my mix. That way I won't have to worry about using CPU resources trying to create seven effects on one channel later. I can go ahead and take care of some of the inconsistencies now at the input stage. So this is one of the plugins that I use. The next one is PreSonus compressor that comes native inside of the DAW. Now the compressor and other um, effects that come with Studio One are highly optimized for S1. This means they will not use up as many CPU resources as other plugins might. They are specifically optimized to run within Studio One with as low a CPU as possible. You probably can get away with using 100 compressors of Studio One's compressors inside of your mix. That's how optimized these effects are. So this is the compressor. What many of you guys may be used to using is the fat channel. So if you go to PreSonus, they decide to have a special folder with a special icon here. And if you scroll down, you will see the fat channel and all of their effects have the big FX looking icon on it. So here's the fat channel, which many of you guys have used. So this is what we'll call a channel strip. And so a channel strip is a plugin that essentially has your basic EQ compression. In other words, some kind of tonal and dynamics processing all in one package. So the fat channel gives you access to high pass frequency, a gate, a compressor, EQ, and a limiter all in one. May I not mention the different EQ and compressor that they added in the latest Studio One update. So all of these are models of hardware gear. So this comes in the fat channel and is a native effect inside of Studio One. If you see here, I'm gonna remove this effect by clicking on the down arrow, click remove. To add an effect, you click this plus button, sort of like adding a track. And then all your folders are categorized. By default, you may see it as categorized in the flat mode. So flat just simply means all of your effects in ABC orders from A to Z, as many as you have, as many various types as you have. If you look here, I have an FX of the MJUK compressor by Klanghelm in VST and in AU, okay? 
So that means I have the same plugin in two different formats. When you download and install plugins, you will either have to choose whether you're going to use the VST, the AU, or both, or one or the other, depending on what they have available. As you see, PreSonus are optimized specifically for Studio One. Their symbol is just going to show an effect here. The other one that you might come across is this one that looks like a race icon. What that really is, if you zoom up very close, is a three. And what that is representing is VST3. So if you ever see this icon, this is your VST3 format. So you have AU, you have VST, and then you have VST3. If you are downloading and installing AAX, they will not work. AAX is Pro Tools specific, sort of like these other plugins here these mixed tool and mixed verb is studio one specific. So you can sort them in the flat scenario, click on the folder, and then they're organized by different types of processors. And if they don't have a tag for that, they will simply just be listed from top to bottom, whatever is not in a folder. The one that I mostly use is by vendor. And that is because when I'm choosing plugins, pretty much know what plugin I want to go for and I know what company is going to provide that. So when you start getting acclimated with different plugin developers, you'll go for plugins from specific developers just because of how tuned you are to them. My compressors, I'm really tuned to the Klingham compressors and so forth. So I have mines organized by vendor and then they're also divided inside of your uh, format types. So remember, your native plugins are plugins that are inherent in Studio One, and they make it easy for you for PreSonus because they are given by the PreSonus logo. And then they also have their effects symbol right next to all of theirs. All the other companies are not native. They are third party because they are not included in the bundle with PreSonus. If I decide to use a preset, that is what this drop down arrow here. Their presets are what's called FX chains. So I have an FX chain. My FX chain is this recording here. So the FX chain is simply a set of insert effects and parameters chosen in those insert effects that you want to store for later use. So this can be an FX chain if I save it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and record a performance. And then I'm going to apply an FX chain so you can see what's going on. Hi, this is Jeffrey at Obedia, and I'm giving a tutorial on the FX chains inside of Studio One. All right, so that is the recording. I'm going to play it back so you can see how it sounds. Hi, this is Jeffrey at Obedia, and I'm giving a tutorial on the FX chains inside of Studio One. So under inserts, we're going to add an FX chain. Keep in mind that these effects here have been applied to this track. That is the difference between the inserts in the input area and then the inserts in your mix console. These effects will be applied when you are printing your track. Now I'm going to add some more effects specifically for mixing. These effects will not matter anymore once this sequence has been printed. So I'm just going to hide my input section. Now I'm going to use one of my FX chains that I use for my tutorial videos. So I'm going to click Mix VO. As you see, it automatically populates my plugins here. VUMT, again, and Neutron. So I'm going to double click VUMT and I'm going to play it back. Hi, this is Jeffrey at Obedia and I'm giving a tutorial on the FX chains inside of Studio One. So this stuff is already set. I have my filters here again and I have my dynamic EQ again, which I'm using as a de already set. It's already done here. Then I have Neutron, which is doing some dynamic EQ as well and some transient shaping to attack those noisy peaks. Hi, this is Jeffrey at Obedia and I'm giving a tutorial on the FX chains inside of Studio One. Automatically, already, instantaneously, I have created a good vocal simply by 
getting a comfortable routing chain at my input area. It's already printed in this clip. And then all I have to choose is my FX chain here. And if I want to make a couple tweaks and then I am good to go. So that's the power of the FX chains inside of Studio One. And this is basically your overview of the effects inside of Studio One. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.